Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, your internet shop teacher, and this is episode number 68A, the question portion of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. Make sure that you tune in about a week from now and I'll have the answers. I have four interesting items here, and these were all given to me by John DeRosa from West Dundee, Illinois, and I'm going to have to tell you that these three are automotive related. This one probably is not. I think I know what it is. I do not know what these are. And then I have one more item to show you that will be on my tablet and it's strictly pictures. So thank you John for sending these to me. But one update before we get started. In the last episode I talked about these wedges and these are space bands off of a teletype machine and I was shocked at how many people knew what these are but since that video something came in my box of junk if you watched my videos uh, the big hoard that was given to me check that out many people watched it but in that box was this envelope from Mergenthaler Linotype you know I always talk about Linotypes and Mergenthaler remember from what I heard, he went insane from developing this machine. But in here are some spare parts, probably pretty old for a linotype machine. Well, a spring, that's no big deal. But here are genuine Mergenthaler parts. They're linotype screws, 448s. I don't know the exact application, but there they are. Now, if you're interested in linotypes, there is a wonderful video on that. Somebody gave me the link, and I watched it, and I'll put the link in the description, because if you've never seen a linotype in operation, you will be amazed at it. So, let's get started. Item 1 from John. And there may be a piece missing on this. I'm not totally sure, but it seems to me I remember these from when I worked in a hardware store. Okay, and number two is a Sergeant Pliers. And this would be the Bernard Patton. Remember, Sergeant bought, Patton, uh, bought uh, Bernard out. But what is the purpose, do you suppose, of this pair of pliers? I have no idea. I think one spring is broke and broken. That should this one should pop back and it does not. And the fact that this is a parallel jaw pliers makes some difference here or you know there's a reason that it's mounted in this type of pliers is what I'm trying to say and I will show you this which means nothing to me and on the trademark here it's just a reference to sergeant and they made evidently thousands of different Bernard type sergeant pliers with different ends on them for special purposes. But what is the purpose of that one? Item 3 from John. Almost looks like a screwdriver. This is hollow tubing, I think aluminum. And on the end of it, a piece of wire bent to a certain shape. I'm clueless. Almost looks like a, a throwaway cheap tool. And number four is a snap-on item, and I covered up the number with the four here, so you couldn't cheat on that. But what do you suppose this is for? That's half-inch drive. Probably cost $90 from the snap-on dealer, but I have no idea. Looks like an expensive bottle opener. Okay, and item number five, and these pictures were sent to me by Kyle Lanning, and I think he's out in Kansas or Nebraska, but thank you, Kyle. This item is marked Briggs & Stratton, patent pending, 
and I have no idea what it is and I'm going to show you three or four more pictures of this if you'll bear with me. And here's another picture and there were no numbers on this item that might identify it. Now this picture may tell you more than any of the others and I have a pretty good educated guess as to what this is. Again, Briggs and Stratton, what does that mean? Besides engines. Notice the there are five holes here. I think that is significant. One more picture. All right. I don't think this picture tells us much at all. In fact, there is, I was wrong, there's one more picture. All right, does this picture tell you anything? By that man's thumb, I think that's probably Kyle's thumb. And there's a wing nut there. And some numbers. Does that mean anything at all to you people out there? To me, this is the most interesting item of the, the lot, and this is number five. Have you watched this video of mine? I'm sure you have. About 38,000 people have seen it, and there's two parts, so check it out if you have not already. But in that mother load of tools, there is a whole bin here of unidentified tools, and they will all appear sooner or later on uh, this series. What is it? So watch for those. Some of these were already identified by various people in the comments when I went through the tools. But check that out. Hope you enjoyed this episode of What Is It? And I will see you next time.